whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, I just saw India get growing. Yeah, you can do that in Premiere Pro. If you are someone who watches travel videos, then I bet you must have watched Ben TK's videos. He uses this technique to create dynamic looking videos. It just blows your mind. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do this objects growing with time effect inside Premiere Pro. You had me right. Just Premiere Pro, no After Effects. And also you can do this in a Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve. It's not about the tool, it's about the technique. So whatever the tool you are using, don't worry. Just follow the same procedure I'm doing now and you'll get the same results. So let's jump right into it. I have taken this video of India Gate just for a demo, but uh, you can do it on your own or you can just download this video for practicing from the description below. First, uh, let's take four snapshots of frame. Uh, keep the playhead at the beginning of the clip and then just hit clip. snapshot, export frame and also check this import into project and wherever you want. It's gonna import that into the project. Take another one, another one and another one. So we are gonna import each of them on top of each other. Just like that. So what we are gonna do is turn off all the top three and keep the bottom one open. So now it's just freezed. First, uh, we need to create a clean plate of this. The bottom image is going to be our clean plate. So right click on it and uh, select edit in Photoshop. It's gonna open up the Photoshop and import it. Make a selection of the object you want to remove. In this case, uh, the India gate, then select edit, then select content aware fill. Hit OK and control D. Yep, I think this is going to work fine. I'm going to just save it. When you are done, just uh, save it. It's going to auto update in Premiere Pro and then close it. Now we have our clean plate here. Now turn on the second layer and right click on it. Then select edit with Photoshop. Now in this one, we need only the bottom part of the gate or whatever the object we are trying to select. So make a selection around it. I'm going to use pen tool here. The selection has to be a little bit uh, more precise as we are going to take this out as an individual part. Make another selection here. So I'm gonna hit control enter for making a selection and to invert the selection press control shift i or command shift i and just unlock the layer first and then just hit delete now it's gonna delete everything except the part and then save it get now i'm gonna do the same for the remaining part of the gate and you can Decide how many steps you want depending on the object uh, you are taken. I'm gonna just uh, speed up the process so you won't get bored. Once we are done breaking down the parts of the object, now it's time to animate baby. As you can see the video is froze because of the clean plate we have at the bottom. So we need to create a mask around the gate so that the video can play normally. <laughs> Now 
now select the first bottom part of the gate and uh, go to the effects search for transform drop it it onto the layer and go to effects control move this to the one second and uh, keyframe the position before that make sure the play height is on the beginning at the beginning of the clip and then move the position down and go like about five five frames you can see here and then reset the values to the its original position and select the keyframes right click and uh, make them easy in it just makes the animation smoother I think it's a little bit too fast uh, I th we are gonna make sure I'm gonna expand it to 10 seconds I mean 10 frames yep I think that looks fine now we want only the this part show up from where the edge is not on top of the entire video clip so uh, we have to create a mask around it and select invert so i'm just gonna create a mask as our object is just uh, pointy and square i'm just gonna create one here let's see how that looks i think it's looking fine now you can see the effect it's just coming from there that's what we needed we have our first bottom part animated now we have to do the same thing for the rest of the parts with uh, randomizing the position and rotation to make it look more dynamic let's do it place the playhead at 1 minute 20 seconds and move the second part of the gate to the edge and uh, repeat the same thing apply the transform on it go to effects and controls first turn on the layer keyframe the position wherever you want in this case i'm gonna place it here and then move 10 frames further and reset its value then select both the keyframes time interpolation is in now we have to create a mask for this too so let's select <laughs> frames further again select the top one turn the layer on and apply the same effects drop the transform go to effects and controls keyframe the position and also make sure to keyframe the rotation here a little bit and uh, i'm gonna place it somewhere here slightly rotate it a bit yeah just like that and go 10 frames further again and reset both the values of rotation and uh, position select the keyframes and easy now our animation is almost ready it looks fine for me to give it a more realistic uh, feel you just have to drop in some debris around the animation wherever the app, uh, animation is happening and some sound effects on top of it just like a garnish to make it a more look appeal appealing and realistic feel so i'm just gonna do that
i hope you like this video if you want to see more content like this let me know in the comments and uh, follow me on instagram at nisar panther please do like share and subscribe it helps the channel grow and uh, helps me to create more content thank you so much for watching see you in another video till then bye bye